After two years from our last visit to Taman Maganu campsite, the Sabah Land Rover Club has answered the plight of the people of Long Pasia by donating a fund to rebuild the rundown campsite facilities. We were welcomed by New Dawa and treated to a great Long Pasia dinner. After dinner, a briefing was done by Nu for tomorrow's trekking. A separate team comprising of 10 volunteers will stay in Long Pasia to erect the tourist map while the remaining volunteers will trek to Maga Falls. These 20 volunteers uh, will trek with the Long Pasia rangers to place signages along the trails and stay the night at the beautiful new Maga campsite. A total of 15 km marker signages were made but only 11 were used as the final distance from Long Pasia to Taman Maganu is 11.2 km. Here we are again. Uh, back in the Taman Maganu uh, uh, since our last trip here um, we have uh, actually responded to uh, Nudawa's request to help the people of Long Pasia especially to improve the, the Taman Maganu campsite which uh, the last time we came was uh, run down the toilet was uh, in despair and this hut was uh, in the wooden and it's still leaking and now you can see everything has been repaired and uh, the zinc sheets all the new zinc sheets are being uh, put up and those will last at least another 10 15 years i'm now at the mega falls site in long Pasia. and um, the potential for tourism here is uh, very good i would say um, the, the things that we found along the way on the trail, the eight hour trails yesterday, we walked eight hours. Uh, we found uh, some very interesting orchids, no? and some of them I ne first time uh, saw this orchid where especially they have two different colors on one uh, plant oh. itself. Right? <laughs> this is for colon cancer, they use for colon cancer. Yeah, they found to powder and bring up, but now they put in capsule form. But there's many types, no? So this is my first time in Naga Falls. On the way from uh, Long Pasia to Naga Falls is quite a nice track actually. Not much of hill climbing. On the way we are here, there's a lot of leeches. But first half will be a lot, but second half this should be okay, no problem. Maybe due to the weather, there's, there's not much of rainfall in this area, then it's not much of leeches. The, we, we are at a height of uh, around 1,200 meters and temperature here is uh, very comfortable I would say. Huh? At night it goes down maybe to around 20, 20 degrees Celsius uh, which is comfortable, uh, not too cold, not too hot. Huh? Which we see at the background um, no, and the team already start building, which is very, very good. We have two shelters, we have a public toilet, we have some very, very basic facility here. I think this is a very, very good start. So, other thing that has been done is a new kitchen, uh, and, uh, an area to, to take food, and uh, now this place uh, can accommodate up to between 18 to 20 people at any day. Sleeping accommodation is adequate uh, for a place like this. Eh? We don't need to have a uh, five-star accommodation in the area. This is as, as uh, bare as we can get. Eh? Of course, the river is very, very unique. You don't really see this kind of river here. This is very upstream. This is with a very, very big catchment area. The river is wonderful, you know, and we actually tested the water yesterday. Um, it, it, it actually tastes quite nice, actually. So definitely, this is a very good track for those uh, people who like to do trekking. 
like in the our Borneo rainforest here. Um, the team can identify a halfway point whereby they can uh, uh, spend the night, camp a night, and then get everybody refreshed, and then the next morning they can start trekking here. Once they reach here, I, I believe there are a few more areas which are equally interesting. Maybe they can stay another night here and explore those areas, and then come back. This is as a best camp. They can stay here another night. So for the whole trekking, maybe three days, four days, I think it would be very comfortable. As far as Sabah Land Rover Club is concerned, we have set a history. I'm great that we have realized one of our pillars in Long Pasia, that is society. And we have put in our footprint in helping the people of uh, Long Pasia in promoting tourism. I hope this is not the last, but the beginning of a new uh, relationship between uh, uh, the people of Long Pasia and, and, and potential partners that can develop the trails uh, in Long Pasia. So we hope uh, uh, this new facility will, will let the people of Long Pasia to bring in more tourists to Taman Manganu. Hopefully uh, you guys can uh, bring your friends and uh, we were keen of coming to the Mega Fall or like to track in the world jungle. Do it here. Thank you, everybody. See you soon.